This podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial by simply going to audibletrial.com forward slash TSC. Audible has over 180,000 titles to choose from, all kinds of books, many sales books for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Simply go to audibletrial.com forward slash TSC. You scared to talk about the money? Don't know what to say and feel like it's going to be awkward with the prospect? Well, listen, if you can't talk about the money, you can't earn the money. So I'm going to tell you some ways that you can get over your awkwardness when it comes to talking about money and how you can free yourself and earn the income you deserve. You're going to love this episode. Take it away, Mr. DJ. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly. The Sales Evangelist, and I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And as you know, it's another Monday morning. We're out here having a great time, getting ready to start the week off, looking to have some great success. And before we do all the fun stuff, though, before we dive into the episode and we start talking about some of those things, you know, I just want to let you know I'm grateful for you. Literally, I, I, I truly am. You're probably walking right now. You're, you're probably in the subway. You're probably on the train, on the bus, in the car at the gym, grocery store, but I'm talking to you individually and I want to let you know that I really appreciate you. I want to thank you so much for helping us grow the podcast to where it's at today. This is our 292nd episode and in eight more episodes, we're going to be hitting that 300 mark and it's just humbling and to hear your messages and to hear how you feel about the show, how it's helping you, the guests bringing you know, these great insights and ideas and you see in the results, it makes me proud to know that we've created something together that can benefit so many people. So many lives have been changed. So thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I guess that's my shout out today. It's to you personally, you individually. And I want to just tell you, I'm thankful for you. I'm grateful for you. And if you feel free to feel the desire to share this podcast with anyone, you know, it's always an honor to have you share that. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Now, today we're going to talk a little bit more about money, money, honey. You know, I like to talk about money. And the reason being because so many people are afraid to talk about money, but you can't, you can't have that in sales. You can't be timid or afraid to talk about money. And there are many reasons why people are afraid of it. It's just for me, I always thought that, you know, sometimes when my product was maybe was more, more expensive than the prospect willing to pay, or I fell prey to the idea that, you know, they're always going to think it's too expensive or it felt like I was robbing them because I'm trying to get money from them. I mean, these are some of the things, the, the fears and nuances that goes across, you know, comes into the mind of many sellers when they're out there, they're getting ready to ask for the money or getting ready to talk about money. They just don't want to be, you know, I guess it's kind of rejection too. You don't want people to feel like you're, you know, get a fear of rejection, but you have to be confident in what you have to offer and that the price is nothing more than just a, a small investment for the value they're going to get from your product. If you don't have the belief in your product or in your service, you have to gain that belief or you may have to look for another product or service that you have confidence in. I got to let you know, it is, uh, it's nerve wracking now when I'm selling myself, when I sell Donald, the sales evangelist, whether it's for a speaking opportunity or whether it's for training opportunity, you know, it's a little bit different in selling yourself because it's in some instance, you could probably could feel like, oh, I'm getting rejected. But you know, you know, you, you just have to look past that. But I do know from what, what I do and what I share and how I train and the things that I've done for clients and the results that they've seen, I'm confident, though, in my ability to be able to offer value. If people implement the things that we teach and, you know, the things that I share, then I know they'll see the results. So I'm confident in myself. So it makes it that I'm not afraid to talk about money because I know the results. And the other thing, too, many times salespeople, when I've worked with them and chat with them, one of the things that they are afraid of when it comes to the money side is, kind of like they don't want to bring it up because they're afraid that it's going to end the business opportunity, end the deal. Or, you know, it's kind of like in their mind, you know, I don't want to talk about money because the prospect, I mean, what do you think? The prospect is going to sit back and get something, think they're getting something for free. They know, they know something is going to be, uh, some kind of money is going to be required for them in order to get your product or service. There's going to be some kind of cost. And if you set it up, if you talk about money too soon or talk about money too late, it could be detrimental. What I like to do, I like to bring up money when I know the value is there. When I like to, so in some instances, if I have my first call with somebody and they have no idea about the process, you know, the opportunity have done nothing about my company and they're simply just price shopping, I'll give them a range. You know, you can give them that range, you know, if they're really pushing that. But typically 
when I'm sitting down with a qualified customer, a qualified prospect, somebody who's going to, you know, become an ideal raving fan, you know, somebody who, you know, we, we recognize is a fit for what we do and they recognize I'm a fit and they've seen the value, it's easier at that point to then bring up the pricing and to talk about it because they recognize value. You know, some people are going to just be shopping you. Unfortunately, they're just price shopping. They're just going to go around and shop and shop and shop. And those people, they probably will never, ever really do business because they're just trying to find the cheapest one around. And sometimes you win some, you lose some. So don't worry about them. What I want to focus on are people who are ideal prospects, people who are in your, your wheelhouse, people who you can serve and who are fit for what you're doing. Those are the people that we all want and we all want to build relationship with. And that's going to, you know, that can be true raving fans for our business. So here's what I like to do. I like to put it on the table right away, you know, get the elephant out of the room. So when it comes to the point where I feel that we've established value, usually after that first meeting where I can offer education and I can learn about their challenges further and and recognize the difficulty that they're facing and I can establish a value, then naturally the conversation is going to go towards the, you know, what the cost of that product or service may be. It, maybe it's in that appointment or maybe it's in a second appointment or second meeting, depending on the length of your sales cycle. But usually, too, especially when we're going to sit down and talk money, I like to set if it's a next meeting, put it on the agenda. So next week we want to sit down. You know, you told me you have a budget. I want to make sure that our, you know, everything isn't succinct, that their budget is in line with what we have to offer with the price range. If I gave them an initial price range from the very get go, you know, we had our you know initial chat and, you know, they had the interest in that and we they understand where, you know, that there's a budget, there's a fit. And we're sitting down talking numbers. Put it on the agenda. That's one way that he can help you with the awkwardness. You know, you know, you're going to have talk. You're going to talk about a budget in the next meeting. Say, John, we look forward to talking, sitting down, talking about the budget in our next meeting. Now, you know that they know and they know that, you know, you're going to talk about money. So it won't be awkward. I love doing that. I love putting on the agenda. The other great thing about putting it on the agenda is the fact that you guys both know and you're prepared for it. So you can bring information that once again can reinforce the value. Before I talk about the money, I'm going to introduce it in a way to say, based on our previous discussion and what you wanted to accomplish, you know, challenge one, challenge two, and challenge three, this is what we propose. And that can help you with this product or this solution. And the investment would be X, Y, Z. And I want to get them to talk, you know, I want to get them to be a part of it. Because again, if they're prepared for it, they're going to know. And that's where negotiation comes in. And we'll, you know, you can talk, listen to some of our other episodes on negotiation and how you can negotiate and so forth. But when you are confident and when you come across and you share the value and you are just confident in delivering that message in your pricing and you establish value, it's usually a no brainer. At that point, people don't have that much of an issue. They just know they're going to move forward. And a lot of times, especially again, if they're ideal, they're a fit, they usually have a budget set aside. So they have something already in mind, what they want to spend. And if it's truly a fit, I guarantee you people are going to find money either way. I've had prospects that I've worked with that did not have the money, quote unquote, but somehow they're able to, once they found that it was of great value to them, they figured out a way to get the money so that this can move forward because it's there. I mean, it's there if it's a true need, if it can truly help them, if they can truly see value or truly increase their revenue or, you know, minimize their expenses, they're going to do as much as they can to make sure that they get that product or service. The other thing that I would say too is to practice, you know, practice, do this in a role play, sit down and talk about money. Ask those questions to yourselves that prospects typically ask you about money. And the more confident, the more practice you get with something, the more easier and more effective you're going to be in delivering a message when it comes to talking about money. You can't be just, I guess, you can't be scared to talk about money. This is sales. Money is an important aspect of it. It's, we know there's going to be an exchange. So besides putting it on the agenda and, you know, making it known on both sides that you're going to talk about money, besides practicing it, you know, doing your role plays, a third thing that you can do to make sure that you are prepared and to help you be more confident talking about money is to go back through some of your ideals, some of your raving fans, people that have bought from you who are your customers, see what they have spent on your product and service, and then see the results that they have. Once you can get that in your mind and you can see, again, the con- see the, the results uh, and you can see the ROI and have that confidence, it makes it so much more easier to talk about it because you know other people who are just like your prospects are, have spent or continue to spend money with you and they're seeing a return. Again, it's all about confidence when it comes to delivering the you know, conversation about money. Be confident in your demeanor. If you're there in person, be confident when you are with them. If you're just over the phone, be confident as well. And usually when you talk about the number and you share the number, be quiet. Don't be afraid of silence. They didn't kill you, did it? <laughs> 
you know, don't be afraid of silence. I've done an episode on that. And usually sometimes they're thinking. A lot of times what happens when salespeople, after they say the price and the prospect is quiet, what will usually happen, the salesperson will start coming down. Well, we can be a cheaper, we can go less than that. And you just shoot yourself in the foot. You don't have to do all of that. You know, just be quiet. And they'll say, okay, that's great. And uh, you'll be amazed how many times uh, people are willing to spend more than what you have said. I've shot myself in the foot one too many times where I've lowballed it and I could have gotten more for the value that we had to offer. But hey, you live and you learn and then you do podcast episodes and tell people about it. But all in all, I, I don't want you to be successful. I want you to be confident when you talk about money. I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you to be squeamish. You know, you have something great to offer. Tell the world about it. And yes, there is a value behind it. They have to exchange their money. They have to give up something of value to get something of value. That's how it works, okay? <laughs> so I wish you great success. If you have any other strategies that you've done or you see to be very effective when it comes to talking about money, feel free to drop me a tweet or drop me a message on LinkedIn. Send me an email. Mention it in a Facebook group. Would love to hear from you. All in all, I want you to be successful. I want you to be happy. But most importantly, DK wants you to go out and do big things. Big things. 